and this is my wife, Jill. I'm going to tell you about heteronormativity. Heteronormativity is the assumption that everyone is heterosexual and that heterosexuality is superior to other sexual orientations. Heteronormativity leads to the invisibility and stigmatization of other sexual orientations. Heteronormativity is all around us. Parents treating their child's bisexuality as if it were a phase is one example of heteronormativity. I've been there. Only recognizing men and women, and not other genders, is another example of heteronormativity. The media's primarily showing heterosexual couples is also an example of heteronormativity. Come with me to work and I'll show you how we can fight heteronormativity. Heteronormativity can make LGBTQIA plus individuals feel like they have to hide their sexual orientation in the workplace. In fact, studies indicate that 46% of LGBTQIA plus individuals hide who they are while they're at work. The good news is that there's a lot you can do to dismantle heteronormativity. One thing you can do is offer your pronouns when you introduce yourself. This encourages your coworkers to do the same. That way, you don't accidentally misgender someone. Okay, everyone, let's get this meeting started. I'm Allie, and I use she, her pronouns. Abida, do you want to go next? You can fight heteronormativity by using inclusive language. For example, when you invite family to company events, don't assume that you know the gender of employees' significant others. Hey, Oscar! Hey, I just wanted to remind you that the company picnic is on Saturday. Spouses and partners are welcome. Thanks, Oscar. You can also make your workplace more welcoming by including your pronouns in your email signature. Include your pronouns on your social media accounts as well. When we fail to offer gender-neutral bathrooms, we are enforcing heteronormativity. That's because not everyone fits into the man or woman category. Assuming someone's gender based on their genitals is heteronormative. Assuming that someone must fall into the category of either man or woman is also heteronormative. So, are you having a boy or a girl? Yeah, well, we won't know that baby's gender until the baby is old enough to tell us. What do you mean? You can't tell someone's gender by their genitals. Only that person can determine what their gender is. Well, then how will people know whether to buy the baby pink or blue stuff? Are you going to give the kid dolls or trucks? People of any gender can like any color or play with any toy. Our gender doesn't dictate what colors and toys we prefer. Besides, maybe the baby won't be either a girl or a boy. Maybe the baby will be non-binary. Finally, workplace rules that dictate what men and women wear are heteronormative. Not everyone fits into the man or woman category. I like your tie, Jan. Thanks. Heteronormativity is deeply ingrained in our culture. 
Fortunately, we can upend it with our everyday actions. We can use gender-neutral language to describe people when we don't know what their gender is. We can also offer our pronouns when introducing ourselves to others as a way of normalizing this practice. Additionally, we can include our pronouns in our email signatures and on our social media accounts. We can also fight heteronormativity by advocating for gender-neutral restrooms and dress codes. Choose your words and actions carefully. There is so much that we can do to make LGBTQIA people feel welcome.